Turner's Travels presents Baileys. To be more precise, Baileys City. There are three other cruise ships anchored near us, being on the Saga Sapphire, we're five miles off Baileys City. And all the vessels you see are tenders taking and returning passengers to Baileys City. And whilst the camera's pointed out to sea, you can make out some islands, the Chios. And I was here in Baileys in 1980, and I spent a lot of time scuba diving. This is the second best barrier reef in the world, and the scuba diving was unforgettable. I remember diving amid walls of coral canyons. But as a speaker on board the Saga Sapphire, my contract says that I'm not allowed to take part in any adventurous or dangerous pursuits. So we've got <coughs> four ships, passenger liners, cruise ships, anchored off Bailey's City. We've been guided in by a pilot, which took us through the reefs. We're five miles off Bailey's City. I went there this morning. It's expanded, there's more tourism there. There are people with horse-drawn carriages, pedal trains, little motor trains taking people around. And Bailey's City, as one woman in the chemist told me, it's not frequented for long by travelers. They come to Baileys for two reasons, to go scuba diving or to visit the interior. And some of the sites on the interior for Baileys are the Maya ruins, but they scale into insignificance compared to the flagship sites in the Yucatan in Mexico or in Tikal in Guatemala. Baileys City comprises a few canals. It's a low-lying area. You've got a few quaint-looking colonial-type buildings like the Governor's House or the Cathedral Church. And then when you walk away from the main streets, you see a very interesting patchwork of semi-dilapidated wooden houses in the residential section with open sewers at the side of the street and a few barking dogs. It's not known for any shopping malls. It's very difficult to find the shops. I suppose unless you live there, you'd have a great difficulty in finding any restaurants, cafes and shops in general. It's a very hot place. <clears throat> I was here in 1980, 81, when Britain gave Baileys its independence. And I suffered the consequences of that because when I was trying to get through neighboring Guatemala to get into Mexico, I was locked up for three days. I was accused of being an illegal immigrant because I had a tourist card. I'd been given that in 1980, but by 1983, Bailey's made Guatemala sever relations with Britain. So the Guatemalans had no sympathy for me. And I spent three days in two different police cells with prisoners who've never been charged, who were just languishing. So Belize has now got its independence. I wouldn't say it's prospered a lot since the early 80s, but it's certainly popular with cruise ships. It's a beautiful place to anchor. It's windy at the moment. It was very cloudy with a touch of rain this morning, but it brightened up to be lovely on February the 21st, 2017. Belize is a part of Central America. It used to be called British Honduras. It's certainly worth visiting for the unusual <coughs> types of architecture. And this is where I'm very pleased with the photographs I took in the town this morning before it got too hot and the sun was too strong can appear on this talk over video. Thank you for your attention and for following Turner's Travels.